Let's draw this flange in front of us. Our dimensions are in millimeters. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go in there. We say matrix standard millimeter and then we say create. So here we are going to start with the circles. So that will be my first one. Then comes my second. There is my third. So I want this one here, this circle to be 140 millimeters. Okay. Now the second one needs to be for me 120. And the last one, which is the third, needs to be 100 millimeters. Please, 100 millimeters. There we go. So now I'm going to pull this one here just for reference. So I need to have 11 holes. So I'm going to come here and say, I want this one to touch that circle, which is my circle for reference. Then I'm going to say, done. So here I'm going to go on 3D model. I say extrude. Now I'm going to extrude this whole thing. Yeah. Then I say the other way around. I say 20. Okay. Which is good. Then I say plus. I want now to extrude this part. The other way around again, but by cutting. Okay. Then I say, okay. Now I come back here. I right click on the sketch. I say visibility on. So here I'm going to go with some features. 3D model. I want to create a hole here. Yeah. So I'll come here and I say I want a hole there. All right. So the features of my holes, you're going to find them here. So you see type behavior. So you come there, you say type. I want that type, the behavior come here. Now, I want this one here to be 15 millimeters, so one five. I want that to be five millimeters. I want this one here to be 25, 25 is fine, which is the length, okay. As you can see, so it can surpass the thickness of my flange. Now, I want that diameter, this one here, to be 8 millimeters, which is accurate with me. Then I'll say, okay, once I'm done with that, I can remove the visibility. I come here, I right click on my mouse, I say visibility off. Now, I click on circular pattern. Now, I want this feature here. Now, I'm going to choose the, the axis against which axis, origin. So, which axis, axis is it? I think it's going to be X. Let's go. It is X, as you can see. Now, I want those holes around that axis. I want 11 holes instead of 6. There you go. You have the same features. And then I say, okay. Now you have your flange. There it is. What you're going to do next now is to give the material. So, this one here needs to be carbon steel. So, you're going to come here and say... Carbon steel, there we go. It was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. If I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. See you on the next video. Bye.